this was the last time I got to see you in my belly before I actually meet you. And I am feeling so emotional because just looking at your perfect little face, oh, it's, it's, it's an, honestly, I can't even describe it. I can't explain it. It's like inexplainable, undescribable. <laughs> Whatever the word is, I just can't explain it. It's, it's a different kind of feeling, a different kind of love seeing your baby and i just want to let you know that we're almost there baby we literally have four weeks until we meet i'm so excited i'm so emotional i'm so anxious the anticipation is literally killing me and i love you so much already it's insane baby girl you are so loved so loved you are so blessed and you don't even know it yet to me you're my little ella girl love you hey what's up guys uh here at the hospital she's beating up the squid <laughs> hopefully i'm hoping she comes today my wife wants her to wait a day or two, but she's feeling it. I'm excited. We'll keep you guys updated. How are you feeling? Excuse my voice. I think I'm losing my voice because I've been literally screaming all night. Uh, <clears throat> so I went to the hospital because I was having um, contractions. Um, comes to find out that I am only I was only one centimeter dilated. So obviously they sent me back home. Um, when I got home, when it was time to go to sleep, my contractions. <gasps> excuse me started to get a lot more painful like super painful like i was literally screaming they're still painful um so i called again the hospital because this is my first time so i just don't know what to expect or what to do so i just want to be safe um i called and she asked me how far apart and I told her um, they're still pretty far apart, probably like seven, eight minutes. And uh, she was like, yeah, like you're it's still too far apart and your water hasn't broken yet. So it's better if you kind of labor at home, you know, comfortable. And then when your water breaks and they're closer together, then you can come in. So I am currently here in my bed experiencing what i think are real contractions because there's just no way what i'm feeling is fake or like false contractions whatever they're called anyways guys i don't think i can do this man this shit is it's very painful i don't know how i don't know how you guys do it but anyways guys i'm gonna try my best to you know document this experience um and yeah i'll keep you guys updated today is easter so you'll probably watch this super late either way happy easter i'll keep you guys updated oh my god I can't believe I'm having my baby. I'm having my baby. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so excited. I'm so emotional. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Comfortable? 
luxury baby. You ready to have a baby? Yeah. Guys, we did it. We're parents. <laughs> We have our Hawaiian baby girl. Papa, Mama. The girl was born April seventeenth at eleven no, eleven p.m. Yeah. She was born an Easter baby at eleven eleven p.m. And I just want to say I can't wait to share my labor, my labor and delivery story because Experience. it was kind of crazy. She did so, good though. Yeah, my wife did really good. Thanks, babe. <laughs> So, um, we don't officially have a labor and delivery video because they didn't Hello. allow us to record the labor. And honestly, I don't think we would have because yeah. everything happened so fast. And, and I was in so much pain. And I was nervous as shit. That I didn't give one crap about, you know, the camera at the time. Uh -huh. I can't wait to share but we just wanted to get on here and let you guys know that our baby girl is here. We had a safe delivery. She's literally perfect. She's like, healthy, healthy, strong. Healthy, strong. Yeah, we should be going home today, so. Um, we will probably be going home today. And yeah, we're excited to show you guys this new journey. This new, new journey, because it's definitely new to us. We're new to- See bags. <laughs> We are first time parents, so we're excited to see how it's gonna go. Um, but yeah, with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, but why nobody told me that after you give birth, the nurses come in here and press on your stomach so hard oh, and make you. Have you not been? No. Nobody warned me about that. Thanks. So, just to start off the story of my labor, when I went into labor, Raul had CQ. So, for those of you who don't know, CQ is a 24-hour shift. So, he literally had to leave his shift. And thank God we had um, the luggage, but he didn't pack his slippers. So, he's been walking around the hospital in socks or in boots. And everybody has been judging him. And that's what you get because I told you to pack your slippers and you don't listen. Oh, oh, you're scaring the baby. <laughs> Just like that, we're going home with a baby. It's so small.